so this SAP FIS CEO is a combination of two modules FI is for finance and CS is for the controlling under the finance we have main components and what are those so first is your general ledger accounting second is your account payable accounting then we have account receivable accounting then asset accounting so under the general ledger accounting what we do actually we will be creating the GLs and from the GL we will be getting the data so this data we will be using for the internal and external reporting so this this is going to give us the information about the financial position of any company with the help of the general ledger accounting what we will what type of information we will have so we will have the financial information for any company what is the profit and loss what is the balance sheet size so this type of information we will be able to get it from this component called general ledger accounting and in this general ledger accounting what we do we will be first creating these accounts so we will be creating the income accounts expense accounts liability accounts and assets account so income and expense are part of your profit and loss and liability and assets are part of your balance sheet so once you have created these accounts, you will start doing the posting you will start doing the transactions in that and these transactions can be manual or these can be through the integration integration means when we are doing some activity in another module so at one point of time it is going to give you a accounting entry so for example if you receive the goods or you do the you receive the goods in the mm so system is going to create a accounting entry in the fi when you are going to do the outbound delivery or when you are going to do the billing in these for your sale order system is going to create your accounting entries in the system through the integration so once your accounting entries are done so you will reconcile them you will do the account analysis and then there are some activities which you are going to carry out in the month end so for example you are going to post the interest entries and there are some month end posting related to the accrual and deferral so there are accrual and deferral document posting which you will do in the month end what do you mean by the accrual and deferral so these are the kind of uh, i would say income or expense reporting we will be doing in the month end so for example we have the april month and in the april month we are going to record all those expenses which are related to april only but the payment for those expenses we will be doing next month in the may so in the month of april we will be recording them through the accrual document likewise we will be recording the expense or not the expense we will be recording the payment for may month which we have made in the april and the payment we have made for those expenses which which are getting accrued or which are getting due i would say in the next month but we have paid them this month only so that is a kind of advanced payment so such kind of a document we use or we post in the month end and uh, that is a part of your periodic activity so once you have your data in the system you are going to pull out with that data for the internal and external reporting so this is what we are doing in the general ledger accounting after that we have account payable accounting account payable accounting it is a subset of your general ledger accounting so in this what we are going to do we will be creating the supplier account and also all those activities we will be taking care of for your supplier so from the supplier whatever the whatever the i would say transactions you are going to do so all those transactions are going to be recorded in the account payable accounting so for example if you are doing the purchase if you are doing the purchase return if you are doing the payment so all those transactions are going to be part of your account payable accounting so here we will be creating the supplier account then once the supplier account is created we call it vendor master data then we will be creating the invoice purchase invoice and we will be also posting the purchase return invoice 
then for that purchase invoice we will be processing the payment so this payment can be manual or it can be automatic once the payment is done then we will again do the account analysis and reconciliation so for example we have a vendor and from that vendor we purchase a material of 100 usd dollar but we have made a payment of 30 dollar so we'll just check after making the payment so how much is the balance due so that balance confirmation sometime we need to send it to our vendor in the month end so that is the information we will reconcile or we will do the account analysis so we will also have the periodic activity for our supplier so such kind of a supplier who are not uh, living within the country outside country so we need to do the transaction we need to post a transaction in the foreign currency and for that foreign currency we need to carry out the foreign currency valuation run what is that we'll see and once we have all the data for our vendor in the account payable accounting so we'll pull the data for the internal and external reporting so the same activities you are going to carry out for your customer in the account receivable accounting so in the account receivable accounting what do you do again it is a subset of your general ledger accounting so whatever the posting you will do for your customer account that will also report to your gl account so that is going to be part of your balance sheet or asset and it is going to be part of your like uh, profit or profit or loss or income or expense so here we are going to create the customer account after that we will start doing the posting or transactions so it could be a sales invoice and it could be a sales return invoice after that we will have the incoming payment so that incoming payment can be manual or automatic then after that again we'll do the account analysis and reconciliation and periodic activity so the way you are posting the transactions for your vendor living abroad same way uh, those customers to whom you are doing you are you have the sales and those customers are not within that country outside country so for that you need to make the sale in the foreign currency and for that foreign currency we need to run the foreign currency valuation run and we will also do the like uh, we will pull out the data for the internal and external reporting through the reporting to the different different kinds of report then we have the SAP asset accounting asset accounting here means fixed asset accounting fixed asset means those assets which you will be purchasing not for the sale which you will be purchasing for a long time so through that you are going to create you are going to create the production or generate the revenue so for example you have purchased land building plant and machinery hardware software you have car so all these are considered as a fixed assets and for this fixed assets what we do in the system so we need to maintain the actual position of those assets in the books in the asset side of your balance sheet so whatever the fixed assets you will be purchased today so next day or next year the value for those uh, fixed assets are not going to be same so the, for example if you have the car so the car we purchased this year it is 30,000 so the next year it is not going to be 30,000 so the value will get reduced so that value reduction is called as as a depreciation and the depreciation posting we need to do on a month on month basis on quarterly basis or yearly or half yearly basis so subject to the frequency so after that system is going to give us the actual position of our assets available in the balance sheet or we will be able to get the actual position for our assets which we will be using or which we will be uh, the value we will be taking from where from the balance sheet on the asset side so in this asset accounting fixed asset accounting what are the activities we are going to do we will be doing the purchase of asset sale of asset then as i just shared with you we will be posting the depreciation of that asset so that we can get the actual value to be presented in the balance sheet then 
we'll see how assets are integrated with the gl so again it is a subset of your general ledger accounting whatever the posting you will do in your assets so it is going to hit your gl so how that gl is getting hit and how that link is set up so that we'll see through the integration of assets with the gl how a asset master data is created that we'll learn then how we can scrap the asset or write off the asset and how we can transfer the value of one asset to the another asset. So these are the activities we are going to perform under the fixed asset accounting. So this was the, these are, these are the, I would say, component we have for the SAP FI. And about the controlling, we have the way you have the component for your finance, same way we have the component for the controlling also. So what are the components we are going to see? We will have the cost element accounting. We have the cost center accounting, profit center accounting, internal order accounting. So these are going to be the component we are going to do for your, for your uh, controlling. So now I will walk you through the system. Let's start with the navigation. Okay. So you need to log in the system. Once you have logged in the system, the first screen system is going to show you that is the SAP Easy Access screen. And this SAP Easy Access screen is used by whom? This is used by the user. This is also used by the consultant. So why the consultant is going to use this SAP Easy Access screen? For the testing purpose. For the sometime if you need to set up the GL. Sometime if you need to see the information for the GL. So you can't do it in the development screen. You need to do it in the, on the SAP Easy Access screen. So how we will be able to do the activities on this SAP Easy Access screen for that where we need to go. So you need to go to this accounting option. You can just see this is the accounting option you drill down. So further it will show you the financial accounting. So you need to go to always financial accounting. After that, you will have here the areas like the general ledger accounting, payable receivable accounting, bank asset accounting. So likewise, you can go to the option. So for example, if you want to post a accounting entry for the testing purpose. So how you are going to post a, that accounting entry that you can just you can just select here. OK, so you can just see for your. Uh, I would say activities. So these are the kind of activities we have. We have the general posting. We have the uh, actually here it is about the posting only and that posting we can do it with the different different ways. Okay, so we have the option called F-02. We can also use F- it is FV50. We can also use FV50, F-65. So these are different different ways through which you will be able to post your accounting entry. Now for each of the activities, you can just see system has given you the transaction code. So this transaction code, if you enter here in this command box, then system will directly take us to that screen. So for example, the first option you navigate. Okay. So this is the navigation. So you follow a navigation path, double click on this, then you will get the screen. Second way to get the screen is you just come out of here. And simply you just enter here the transaction code if you know. So it will directly take you to that screen. Okay. And if you want some of the transaction code or we call them T code, if you want those T codes to be part of your favorite list, yes, you can take them under the favorite list. So how to take it? So you can just see FP50 is already there. If you want to remove it, you go to the menu. Actually, first of all, this is the menu bar. Okay. And this is below that. You can just see this is the standard bar. So in the standard bar, we can see some button. We'll discuss them. Then here we have the title bar. This SAP Easy Access is your title bar. So whenever you will be using any transaction code, so system is going to show you the name of that screen. So for example, here we have the B50 screen. It will show you in which screen you are, you are in and what type of activity you can do it in that. I just double click on this. Now you can just see the title bar. It is saying that in this screen, you can do the GL account document posting for which company code for the company code double one double two. What do you mean by the company code? We will discuss. So this is what we will, we will get from the title bar. Okay. Now just come out of here. And after that, 
below this title bar we have the buttons which we can use for posting for some other activities now i'll go to the favorite you can just see favorite we have this fb50 i want to remove it so simply you can go to the menu favorite and then click on the delete button if you want to remove it if you want to add let's say here this f02 i don't want to enter again and again okay i want to be part of the favorite list so you simply go to the favorite once again in the menu add this under the transaction code f02 and if you have some transaction code related to some activity so that those transaction codes those relevant transaction code you can put it into the field into under a under a folder so for example i am going to create a folder and this is related to what and this is related to the gl posting or it is related to the let's say general gl accounting okay gl accounting so now i can take this under it so just pick and drop okay so you can just see now the general ledger accounting has this uh, uh, transaction code called f02 likewise if you have other you can create another so this is how you can store in your favorite transactions and you can just from here in the menu you can execute them now what else we need to do so this is the front end screen okay if you want to go to the development screen then for that you need to go to this command box this is called command box in this we have last 10 transaction 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 sorry 15 transaction 11 12 13 14 15 so last 15 transaction it is going to show you which you have used in your system okay now you can just see this is the green button this we can use for the enter option if after the transaction you want to move to the next screen so you can click on the enter button actually you have been given the enter button on your keypad if you don't want to enter that then you can click on that it will give you the same effect after that if you want to see this is a small arrow button this is to hide or show your command box okay then save button presently it is in a disabled mode because we don't have any information which we want to get saved that is the reason it is coming with the disabled mode otherwise whatever the information which you want to get saved you can click on this you can also save the data in the sap screen with the help of control s option the way you save your ms office data okay same way you can also save the transaction or data in the sap system that this is a button to to go back to the previous screen previous screen means your sap easy access screen because wherever you are in if you are doing some kind of posting or you are accessing some report so it will directly it will it will take you back to the sap easy access screen this is your basic screen or i would say this is a starting point okay. then if you want to come out of some activity task or you want to log off then if you want to cancel in task activity then this is the button we use for the printing if you have some checks you have some report which you want to get printed then if you have a list of objects and that list of object let's say 1000 list of object you have on the screen so you want to find out the relevant one so you can use this find or binocular option if the same object is coming multiple times and you want to see how many times it is coming so you can use the find next option or here we have binocular with the plus sign then next to this we have these navigation button so here we can just see the first page last page next page previous page so these pages or these buttons we will be using when we are in a kind of a report when we are having some checks so if you want to go to the because in the check and in the report we'll have the multiple pages so if you want to navigate from one page to another page a last page previous page so you can use these button remember these buttons you also have in your in your mail okay web mail okay? so or gmail or yahoo mail so through that you will be able to go to the next page last page same way here we can use these buttons then this is called session which we can just see on the screen this is called session and on this session we have opened the screen okay likewise you can have five more sessions 
and in the each of the session you can do a different activity so for example in one session i have open a report in second session i am creating a gl in third session i am posting some accounting entry in next session i am doing some other activity so these are the purpose of having the multiple sessions okay now the more session you will open the slower is going to be speed of your server so, so here we need to like uh, open less number of sessions so that our speed should not be hamper so here we can open the session by using this button click on the create button so it will open a new session for you and in that session you can do some activity for example you are doing some gl posting you want to see the gl information you want to see some document posting information or document display information you want to see okay so that through this you will be able to do that activity then this is the button we use for the help so for each of your field okay available on the screen so if sometime we need to know the technical name because sometime we need to share the technical name with our technical team or uh, a bab team okay so sometime let's say if you want to get uh, some custom report data interface create uh, you want to get created so in that case we will need to know the technical name of that field so that we will be able to get it through this help option how to get it i'll let you know then after this we have this custom uh, thing so through this you will be able to like change the color of the screen you can increase or decrease the font of the screen okay so if you want to have the text the size of the text should be larger then through, through this you can use this custom option or layout option okay now if you want to go to the development screen this is the sap easy access screen on which we can carry out the day to day business activity now if you want to go in the back end in the development you want to do some configuration as a consultant for that what do you need to write it here spro it is the sap project reference object so you need to after that you need to click on this enter button it will give you a new screen on this new screen you will get the img and then i need to click on this img button always you need to select this first reference img button okay so sometime you can just see here we have this img information we press in on this button no always we need to click on the first button and then you will get your img screen on this img screen always you need to go to the financial accounting but before you go to the financial accounting you need to create some enterprise structure you need to create some organizational structure so in order to create those uh, those objects those organizational objects so where you need to go you need to go to the enterprise structure enterprise structure so for example under the financial accounting you have the global setting you have the account payable account receivable general ledger fixed asset accounting bank accounting okay so before you start working in these areas so if you need to create some uh, objects which are also useful for some other module like the sdfi like the sdmm so those objects you will be able to create it under the enterprise structure so come out of the financial accounting go to the enterprise structure what type of objects we can create under the enterprise structure let's see it and also you can observe here for each of the object let's say let me just open it so go to the enterprise structure after that you need to go to the definition where i will get all this path okay so you need to open the practice sheet i have shared with you yes basic setting basic setting is going to give you the information or through this we'll be able to set up the object required at a enterprise structure level at a organizational structure level so under this what we have so you can just see we have multiple files so some of them are pptts word and pdf so we need to go to the pdf file open it so in this pdf file what you will get you will get the step by step configuration so first step is you can just see actually here what we need to do we need to do the hands on how we can do the hands on so while 
creating some kind of a project will be able to get the hands on okay so here we'll be doing the project creation under this project creation we'll be creating all these objects and the relevance of this object we can just see or we can test those objects through the user testing or through the unit testing so that we will be testing on which screen on the sap ezx screen so in order to create this project okay so you can just see we have a series of steps and if we start with the step number 1.1 you can just see it is related to the creation of company so you can also write it as creation of company slash trading partner creation of company slash trading partner what do you mean by the company company or slash trading partner what do you mean by trading partner actually sometime we have the intercompany transactions we need to post the intercompany transaction so in order to post these intercompany transaction that particular company id we call it as a trading partner we call it as a company id okay so how to create this company or trading partner for that you can just see the path is given so under this path you need to go to the spro enterprise structure definition financial accounting define company so here you will follow the same path go to the enterprise structure definition financial accounting open the financial accounting you can just see you have the enterprise structure under that you can also create the object under the other module what are the other module we have the controlling logistics sales and distribution material management okay so first we'll go to the financial accounting go to the financial accounting actually this is our area okay because this is related to the finance okay so controlling some part of it we will cover so these are not our area okay so we'll not look into it so who will look into it so the concerned consultant will look into it like sd will look after sd mm will look after M material management so let's go to the financial accounting under this you can just see these are the object we create at a enterprise structure level or at a organization level what are these object you can just see the first object we have it is a company company means trading partner and why we need to create the trading partner in order to carry out the intercompany transactions so for example we have reliance group okay so in the reliance group we have two companies so one is the one is the geo and second is the uh, reliance retail so if they are doing the transaction or if we need to post the transaction between these two uh, legal entities so we can we need to give the id to both of these two legal entities and how we can give the id so for that we need to give the id or the trading partner so we need to create the trading partner for geo and also we need to create the trading partner for your reliance retail then after that you can just see some other objects are there okay so we'll we will discuss those uh, one by one because some of them are not relevant as of now so you can just see whatever the objects you are going to create so you will be able to create them with the help of this img button you can just see the round shape button okay so this is the img button through or the activity button through that you can do the configuration and you have also a another button you can just see this documentation button what is the use of the documentation so whatever the objects you are going to create okay so regarding that object if you want to get that information so sap has provided you some standard information that you can go through you can you can learn about that object through this documentation so for example if you want to find out the information about this company what is this if you are hearing it for the first time then you can click on the documentation not the company like for that uh, if you want to see some other object okay, regarding that you want to see the information in the system so you have not heard it before then you can go to the documentation see some basic information provided by the sap so you can just see it is talking about the company in this company it is saying that you can define the company and it's a organizational unit in the com in the accounting which represent the business organization according to the requirement of the commercial law so here how you can define it so you can define it it, it is up to the six character so when you are going to set up any object in the sap so sap has provide sap has provided us a standard length of that id okay a standard length 
we can create for that particular or organizational object whether it is a company company code trading partner or anything so for uh, the sales organization sale area purchase area so for each of your object sap has provided you the length and that length is fixed it is up to how many character okay, if i talk about this object it is up to the six character could be alpha numeric okay then what else we have here you can just see it is used for the internal group business partner okay so we can do the intercompany transaction group company okay so now we can close it click on the close button if you want to see the technical name of this uh, field then you need to go to the technical information so that we'll see here just close it and then go to the define company click on the define company button and then we need to see here we have already a data in the system okay in the real time also so when any kind of implementation gets done sap provides a standard data and from that standard data you can get the reference you will come to know how what type of information you need to maintain so for example you can just see here we have here the standard data with the name IDES. okay so this is a standard data country wise we can come to know okay what type of information or what information what field we need to enter if i want to create this object let's so let's take the information for the country us you can just see we have 3000 for the us so just double click on this and you can just see we will come to know that okay these are the field which we need to enter if we want to create our own company if I, we need to create the trading partner so for the creation of trading partner what is required company id is required name is required name two is required and after that we can give the country code so remaining fields are option so we can save it now if you want to create the information for the company how to create it and you can just see the title bar it is not showing you as a company it is showing you as a trading partner information okay and it is used for the internal transactions intercompany transactions so you come out of here and if you want to create the new company data in order to do that you have here a option called new entry you need to click on this and then you can give the name so for example trading partner for my new company and the name of id for this new company we want to give it as double two oh, sorry it is double one two three double one two three or it is let's say double two double three double two double three and what is the name of this company so the name of this company is amazon amazon let's say amazon us limited and some id if you have given to this amazon so you can enter here otherwise you can repeat the same name okay then after that you need to give the city country so you can just see sometime you have the field and for that field system is going to show you this type of button okay so whenever you see this type of button what does it mean it means you don't need to enter it manually sap has provided you the data sap has given you the list of uh, uh, options we need to select the relevant option so for example here we have the country option okay so in this country sap has given you a list of country you need to select the country from that list you can't create your like uh, uh, new country yes you can create but for that you need to go to the backend but this is a list of countries we have 236 okay so you need to select the relevant one so this is for the us so we can search for the us go to the binocular search option select for the united states so it will give you a two character id which we need to select and always it is going to be two character okay 
so this is the short name long name so select the short name because here we need to have the short name again we need to have the short name for the language so language option we have once again given so 41 language options are are here we need to select the relevant one so let's select the english language en english language then currency option again it is given okay a list of currencies are given so which one you want to select so i want to select for us usd so it is the american dollar and then i am going to save it so now this is the data if you want to save you can just see we have the save option or you can also save by using the control s option so you can go either way let's select the save button so always when you are going to do the development so system is going to shoot system is going to give you this type of pop-up okay so why this message has come what is the use of this message if you remember in our first class we have discussed we have discussed about the r3 option r3 architecture in this r3 architecture we have understood that if we need to move the development from our development client to our quality client and from the quality if we need to move that development to the production client so how you will be able to move it you will be able to move it through this type of through this type of tr what do you mean by the tr tr is your transportation request tr is your transportation request so it is going to carry your data and it will carry the data from one client to another client or from one system to another system so how it is going to carry for that we need to give the short description actually when you are going to create it for the first time so this two field both will be blank okay both will be blank so how you need to enter the information in so for that what do you need to do you can just see there is a new entry button available you need to click on this new entry or create a request button and after that you need to give the short description how we need to give the short description so first of all you will start with your module name okay so again for this we have a norman convention so what is the norman nomenclature or uh, naming convention so that you will you will come to know when you will be in the project so you will see your previous uh, short description so from that you can get the reference and you can create your own okay so here normally we start with the module name so because this is a development related to the finance or related to the FICO, we can enter here FICO. If it is, you want to be very particular, it is related to finance, so you can enter here FI. And in this, what you do? So if you are doing some development under some request, which is which you are you have received from the client, so that request ID, that service request ID, or that change order ID, you need to mention here. So for example, we want to have a change order or a change request ID. So I'm going to enter a dummy change request ID. It is let's say CR1212. Okay. So this is a or this is a change request we have received. Now after that, sometime we use a we use employee ID also. So let's say the employee ID we have here. Okay and employee ID of what employee ID of whom it is going to be the person who is doing this development okay then after that after this we need to mention what kind of development we are doing so we are do creating the trading partner okay and in this if you want to carry the data uh, all the data for your uh, legal entity then you can enter here enterprise structure data for double to double three or for country us okay if you want to carry all the data related to us under the single transport request so this is the description we have given now what you need to do click on the save button automatically system is going to give you a new transport request you can just see this is a new transport request number SAP system has given you if you are not getting it you are getting some issue in that to whom you need to contact you need to contact with your basis team but normally 99% you will get the transport request number okay so how to move it 
how we can display uh, what type of information we have that i'll let you know but this is how you have received you have generated it and after that you need to click on the green button so still it has not been saved okay your data has not been saved if you select this green enter button then the data will be saved otherwise if you don't want to save you want to discard this data then you can click on the cancel button so i want to save it click on the green button it will give you a notification your data has been saved now you need to go to the next step now we can go to the next step okay so this next step is related to what it is related to the you can just see it is a subset of first step only 1.2 so now we need to create the company code so company code is very important what do you mean by the company code company code means legal entity legal entity so when you are starting your business in any of your country okay so you need to get it uh, tax compliance you need to have the gst number you need to have the vat number for that particular legal entity okay so in order to get that vat number so you need to get it uh, registered some under the company law okay so here or under the registrar of a company roc you need to you need to register your company legal entity we call it as a legal entity in the accounting we call it as a legal entity in the sap terminology we call it as a company code so now there are two types of uh, terminologies you will come to know or you need to uh, like uh, uh, you need to know so the first is your accounting terminology and second is your sap terminology in the accounting terminology in the uh, normal like uh, business terminology we call it as a legal entity and in the sap terminology we call the same legal entity as a company code but both are the one and same thing so what do you mean the company code company code means a legal entity and for this legal entity what do you do you will create a code in the system and this why this code is required why this legal entity is required for the internal and external reporting so internal and external reporting for what for the external for example i want to set up a legal entity and through this legal entity we want to share the information with whom with the bank with the government with the tax department with the shareholder so that we can come to know what is the income status of the income or loss or balance sheet size so that this kind of financial information if you want to share with the external resources so for that reason you need to set up the company code you need to set up the legal entity so the definition for each of the object you will be able to find out under this basic setting notes so this is the word information okay so you can just see here if we are saying that the company code is a organizational unit or we call it in the financial accounting as a legal entity so for this we will follow the accounting follow the accounting means we'll be using the debit credit we'll be using the income or booking the transaction for what for the external reporting and always when you are going to create this company code in the system in the sap system the way you created the company up to the sixth character here you are going to create the company code but the length is different so the length for this company code is up to the four character could be alphanumeric path is same it is saying that there is no difference so the way you have created the first uh, object same way you can create the company code but this time we need to go to the second option called edit copy delete check company code option so you go to the once again navigation go back your data is saved go back now you need to define the company code you can just see here this option we have it is the added delete check company code why not this credit controlling area actually this is related to the sd so in the sd if you want to set the credit limit of your customer so that you you do need to like uh, give them the credit over the limit okay so for that credit control option we have this object so this is not useful for us right now so here we can directly go to the company code and this option we need to select edit check company code or edit copy delete check company code so here we need to select always the second option if you want to create a new company code 
if you want to copy the data from the existing one as i just shared with you when there is a kind of implementation or when whenever you will be working on any of the sap system so you will find some of the standard data provided by the sap so in this standard data sap has already done some uh, some transactions sap has created the master data sap has created the program sap has created the table for that particular entity okay and uh, what we can do we can, and why sap has provided provided that data so that we can take the reference now if you want to if you want to i would say create a company by using the copy option okay so copy from what copy from any of the existing company we have in the system so you can click on the copy button so through this what will happen so you don't need to create the structure so the structure will be created automatically by the system so for that we need to give a reference company code we need to give a reference data so for example if we have the company code let's say 1000 and for that 1000 we sap has already created a a whole structure so the new structure will be created by the sap automatically if you select this copy option but if you want to create the structure as per your requirement okay as per the client requirement and those are different from the standard one provided by the sap so for this you can just come out of this uh, copy option so you need to go to the edit option so under the edit option you can just see here you don't have the new entry button okay in that you will get the new entry button and you will be able to create the data as per your requirement so here it is getting uh, like it is in under the it is getting process okay so because if, it, I, I use this transaction for the first time so it is taking time now you can just see it is asking for the reference company code from which the data needs to be copied okay so here we have this data available okay 1000 2000 3000 so this standard data we have so with this sap ag always you will get this kind of company code in any of your sap system whether you are working for a project it is it is a us project or outside us project so the state the standard data will remain same okay it will not be changed now i don't need to refer the standard data okay i will create my own data for that i will click on the close option and i will go back and i will go to the edit option edit company code button you can just see we have 168 company codes already available in the system okay so some of them we have been provided by the sap and some of them maybe those are created by somebody else if we are working on a practice uh, server okay so this is the practice server so likewise also you will have a online practice server so maybe on that some other uh, trainees would have created their legal entities or trainer would have created their legal entities okay so if you want to create your legal entity for that or the company code id click on the new entry button you can just see there are other buttons available what is the use so the first button we can just see if you want to make some changes okay this is to make the changes in any of the object so you can click on the display or mode it will come into the display mode or change mode okay now the second button you can go to the binocular binocular means if you want to see the detail okay then the next button we have the new entry if you want to copy the data okay so this copy you are familiar but we'll see also down the line then if you want to remove any data okay then we have here the select all option deselect all option okay and uh, click on the new entry button and here you can enter your new company code data so as i just shared with you this company code id we need to maintain the length up to how many character four so i'm going to take it here the id is double two double three you can take it alphanumeric you can take uh, alphabets also you can take uh, numeric also so i'm taking numeric okay but you can take combination any anything you can take it here but the length should not be more than four 
and it is going to be this length is not for only for country us it is all across okay it is all across the project it is all across the region it is all across the uh, client you are working for so now we need to give the company name so let's say the client name is amazon us and then we need to give the city name give the country code id currency id a language id okay so this information we have already set up so we know that what is the id we need to use for country currency and language for the first time you want to see it, you can just click on the drop down button now you need to save this uh, information click on the save button and the same instruction you will be able to get it in your practice sheet here you can just see so we have defined the company code we have uh, uh, selected this option called added copy lead check company code after that we have double click on the added company code data we have click on the new entry button we like uh, given the information for the company code company name city country currency language okay now i would give you a small piece of advice whenever you do the practice okay whenever like we will be getting we will be meeting online so what do you do you just take a print out of this practice sheet and just keep it in front of you so when i will be entering the data so for example i am creating the company code and this information i have used okay so you can just see the fields are available in your practice sheet but for these field what you need to enter so that is not available okay so when you will be online okay so you can just see what i have written and same way you can write that information on your notes and when you are offline you want to do the hands on you keep those notes in front of you and you can do the practice because always you will not be able to play the recording okay so for the let's say you have a doubt about this field so you can see okay what you have written on the notes so again you will go and check the recording that will take time so this is how you need to do the practice so now you need to click on this save option okay because this is what we have we we had we got it from the instruction click on the save button let's click on the save button and then you need to give here the country code give the country code because this whenever you see this type of icon this uh, check and uh, square it means it it is a mandatory information so let's have here the country id as a us and then press enter button if you want to have some other addition information so you can put it that addition information for example mobile fax email id so you can put it that but it is not mandatory so i'm going to click on the enter button and we will save it you can just see this data is also going to be part of your tr transport request okay enter press enter button always you don't need to create a new tier so you can use a single tier under that you can create all your data data got saved and what else you need to do so now you need to go to the next step.